21-year-old George McKenzie Jr. was mortally stabbed multiple times as he socialized at a popular event this past weekend in Belize City. Despite being rushed to the KHMH for medical assistance, McKenzie Jr. succumbed to his injuries. He was at the IT Vet compound on Freetong Road along with thousands of residents partying at the Soka Madness event as part of the carnival season celebration. A fight ensued between Mackenzie Jr. and others before he was stabbed. During that uh, event, there was a fight that ensued at an area inside the compound. As a result, uh, Judge Mackenzie Jr., 24 years, received multiple stab wounds to the chest and abdomen. He was uh, escorted to the Kalhusha Memorial Hospital, where he died uh, shortly thereafter. Despite being injured, Mackenzie Jr. made his way to the gate at the entrance to the compound, where he collapsed. The incident was witnessed by many, but police say that despite recording several statements, a motive has not been established. After the fight happened, the deceased managed to run away, and almost by the gate entrance, he was stopped by a police officer where he noticed that he was bleeding as a result of that. He was transported to the KHMH, where later he succumbed to the several injuries that he sustained on his body. At this time, the police has one person in custody. Uh, they have questioned the person, and the investigation continues at this moment. We have spoken to several persons there, and um, yet um, several police officers working there. We have received information from all of them, but up to now, at this point in time, we cannot tell you definitely what is the motive behind the fight? We know that there was an incident between two groups, and that is what we can tell you so far. Mackenzie Jr. is no stranger to the law. He was accused for the murder of Alonzo Cruz back in 2014 and freed for being wrongfully charged. Most recently, in January of this year, he was arrested with another person for a shooting on Barrack Road in Belize City. He was picked up several times by the police, and his mother, Melissa Major, maintained that Mackenzie Jr. was being targeted because he was the son of George Junibals Mackenzie. And on Sunday, ironically, Mackenzie Jr. was murdered nine years to date from the day his father was killed on August 28, 2007. His mother had told News 5 that her son's life had been threatened last year. The police well knew that my son not do nothing and they give no trouble. I, me, they cry out today for help my son. They cry out today for help my son. Recently last week, I the call, call, call Brasta. I called Mr. Gwinnis, the last person I spoke to with Mr. Gwinnis was on Tuesday, March, Tuesday evening before I left, telling him about the death threats my son and they get going to Wesley Junior College, that they were going to kill on a school. I speak to one of the big near the crowd today. Please, please, please make my police mobile. Just circle in at the area one, two, three times. I know they ask you because know, TH and the West Virginia College to watch my son. Mr. Brassa said yes. He said, I'm going to work with it. I'm going to talk to the priest in one thing. I spoke, nothing never happened. The Monday, nothing never happened. The Tuesday. So I spoke with Mr. Greenish the Tuesday evening before I left out of my work. Mr. Greenish sent me that all. Um, he can't promise me that when I have one, to uh, mobile circling because everywhere hot right now. He asked me if I have a cell phone number. I tell him, yes, sir, I have a cell phone number. He said, if anything happen, call me. Regional Commander for Eastern Division North, Assistant Commissioner of Police Desiree Phillips, says that interventions have been put in place to deter any retaliation. Indirectly, we have put certain things into place um, because whenever incidents occur, there is always the the lookout for, for spillovers across the city and we have put certain things into place to ensure that as best as we possibly can possible can there is no form of retaliation. Dwayne Moody for News Five.